What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I apologize that I've been a little MIA on social media lately. I didn't get a video up last week and on my Instagram I've been pretty MIA. Life happens, sometimes you just need a break and that's okay. So I am back now after lots of retail therapy. <laughs> and I have a makeup haul to share with you guys. I should preface this by saying some of this is retail therapy and some of this is birthday money because my birthday just passed. So I didn't purchase this all at once, no way. So I have stuff from Anastasia's website. I purchased from Ulta, Sephora, and Beautylish. And can we just take a second to appreciate this sweater. I'm ready for fall. I'm so to over summer. I'm, I'm tired of the hot weather. I want it to be cold now. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I will show you guys everything that I've purchased the last couple of weeks and I'm gonna go in the order that I got everything. So instead of by brand because I do have a lot of Anastasia stuff, but some of it I got from their website and some of it I got at Sephora. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump in now. I first placed an order with Anastasia and I ordered on National Lipstick Day because they were doing like buy one, get one half off or no, buy one, get one free. Something like that. I don't remember exactly what the discount was, but it was a pretty good discount, so I thought I would take advantage of it. I ended up picking up some of their new lipsticks that they came out with, and I got three shades. Oh, it was buy two, get one free, I think. I'm pretty sure it was buy two, get one free. That's why I got three of them. So I got the shades Peachy, Honey, and Staunch. All of these colors are pretty, like, muted edgy like grungy colors for this collection i'm not wearing one of them right now i should have now that i think about it but i'm not so this is the color peachy i have swatches up on my instagram of all of these colors but i'll go ahead and swatch for you today so this is peachy and then the next shade that I picked up is called Honey. And these are two lighter shades in the collection. Honey is a lot more mauve in tone. It's right here. And then the last one that I picked up is called Staunch, which is the darkest of the ones that I picked up. It's pretty similar to what I have on my lips right now, but this is, um, I have ColourPop on my lips right now with a little bit of Wet n Wild. So this is staunch and then this one looks like this so these are matte lipsticks and I would say they're very matte you definitely want to make sure your lips are moisturized before you put them on otherwise they are dry to the point where like you're dragging your lips trying to get an even application and it's not the best feeling in the world. So I would say like these are really good. Just make sure your lips are moisturized the same way you would do with a liquid lipstick. So I really like those. I'm happy with my purchase. And then I picked up some backups um, while I was ordering from their website just so that I could get free shipping. I got a new Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate, which is what I always use on my brows. And then I picked up a clear brow gel because I love their brow gel. Nothing else has worked for me that I've tried or have found. So... I really like their clear brow gel and I decided to just pick up backups because I'm always using these. So that's what I picked up from Anastasia. And then the next purchase I made from Beautylish. So if you don't know what Beautylish is, it's a website that I believe you can order from the US and the UK. And they sell a lot of brands like Beauty Blender. They have Jeffree Star on there. They have this brand called The Ordinary, which is why I placed an order through Beautylish because I wanted to try out something from The Ordinary brand. But they also have like Charlotte Tilbury on there. So they have a lot of like high-end stuff and it's good because a lot of people in the UK don't have access to stuff that we have here in the States so it's a good website if you are overseas and you're trying to get your hands on a product they might have it there so the one product that I wanted to pick up is from the brand called The Ordinary and I wanted to get the full coverage foundation that they sell but they're all on back order and they're actually not even on Beautylish's website yet they're only being sold on The Ordinary's website but I decided I was in the market for a new primer and I was almost going to purchase the Canaan Austin primer from Sephora but that one is like $55 and this one here was like $4 <laughs> so I figured I'd give this one a shot before I went and I splurged like $60 on a primer so I picked up the ordinary high adherence silicone primer this is what the box looks like it says high adherence blurring surface smoother and primer. I've used this a few times. I can't say that I've noticed anything drastic 
using it. This is what the package looks like. It just looks like a moisturizer when it comes out of the tube. I don't want to take off too much. But this is what it looks like. It just looks like a standard moisturizer. And I don't find that it really blurs too much. Like, I have really large pores on my face that need to be filled in. And this one doesn't do quite that good of a job at doing that. But it was only $4 and it's a good primer. It does make the skin look smooth. It just doesn't fill in my pores as much as I would like. So if you're in the market for a new primer, for a mattifying primer, I would definitely check that one out because it's very inexpensive, it's very affordable, and it does smooth out the skin. It does make your skin look really smooth, but if you have larger pores, you might not like it. I'm not a fan of it for that purpose, but for the smoothing purpose, and it does really keep me matte throughout the day, I think it's a good primer. Then the other things that I purchased from Beautylish, because again, I wanted to get free shipping, I hate paying for shipping. I just, I'd rather spend money on product and not have to pay for shipping than to pay for shipping, you know? I don't know. I just, I feel like it's such a waste of money. So I picked up a new beauty blender. I picked up the black one because my old black one was getting disgusting. And the black one is my favorite by far because I feel like you get the most amount of coverage out of it. The nude one is my least favorite because you don't get any coverage. And then I picked up the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub in, are you guys ready? Pumpkin Spice Latte. <laughs> I know I am one of those girls, I am one of those people that just go pumpkin crazy every single year. Pumpkin everything. Pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin English muffins, pumpkin ice cream, pumpkin, I don't even know what else. They have everything in pumpkin now because it's become such like a thing, but I'm not mad at it. Pumpkin cream cheese. So I picked up the flavor pumpkin spice latte. This is what the packaging looks like. I've used lip scrubs before from Lush and I just I wanted to give this one a try because I was ordering from the website anyways and Jeffree Star does sell through Beautylish so it is authentic, it's real and it smells so good. It smells like a candle from like Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candles. I have used this once and I would say that it burned the shit out of my lips. I don't know if it's just because of the flavor, like there's like a spiciness to it where it was like my lips were on fire. Um, I don't know if that happens with any of the other flavors like the bubblegum or blue raspberry, the, like the flavors like that, but definitely with this one. So if you're sensitive to like lip plumpers and that spiciness that they have, I would probably avoid this flavor. Had I known that, I definitely would have avoided this because it does, it does burn a good amount. So I'm not... 100% like in love with it, but it did leave my lips really soft and they, it did the job So I'm gonna continue to use it, but if I were to get another one, I'd get a different flavor And then I made a stop at Sephora. I originally wanted to go for any foundation because I'm running out of my double wear, which I love. I wear it every day. It really stays on the skin, especially throughout work when I work eight hour shifts. So that's like my go-to. I love that foundation, but I'm running out and my skin just needed something different. I wanted to get the new YSL foundation and when I went into my Sephora, it wasn't on display yet. And I was gonna get the Hourglass Vanishing Stick foundation because I've heard really good things about that one. And then when I was checking out, I asked if they had the YSL foundation because that's originally what I wanted to get. They said that they had it in the back, so they matched me with what they had on display since the colors are supposed to be similar, and they grabbed it for me in the back, and I was so, so, so happy. So I picked this up, a whole whopping like $60, and you don't get a fluid ounce. I'm gonna do a whole foundation review on this foundation for next week's video so you guys can see all of my thoughts on it. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, but basically it's called the All Hours Foundation. It has SPF 20, up to 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, oil free. I picked up the shade BD25 Warm Beige. This is what the packaging looks like. It's super luxurious. You've got a pump in there, of course. The only thing I don't like is that it's just floating around in this box, like, and that's a glass bottle that could easily break so not a fan of the packaging in here like they should like put extra box in there or something but yeah i'm going to be doing a full review on this for next week's video i do have it on my skin today and then i needed to pick up a new perfume because i've been dying to have this perfume back in my life i love this perfume I wanted to give it a break for summer just because it's not a very summery scent. I would say it's more like winter and nighttime. I really love this and 
I needed to have another one. I never get a full perfume bottle anymore. I always just get like the little spray things or the roller balls. So I picked up another one of those and this is the Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. And this is literally just one note made out of a single ingredient, Cetalox. It has no top or heart notes. So this is gonna smell different on everybody. The same thing with any perfume though. Like one perfume that smells good on you might smell like complete trash on somebody else, just being honest. But I love this perfume. I get compliments when I wear it all the time. It's borderline feminine, borderline masculine, which I'm really into. I really like it. If you haven't smelt this before, I would definitely go in stores and give it a try because it's it's really good. And then the next thing I picked up is the oh so famous Urban Decay Velvetizer powder. I wanted to pick up another package of my Laura Mercier because mine is basically out now. I and mean, I just, I love using that. I always like to have it on hand, but my Sephora was out so I couldn't get that. So I figured, hey, why not? I'll just pick this up and give it a try. I do really, really like this. Just a heads up. It's so, so silky smooth. I can't even explain to you how smooth the powder is. I guess Velvetizer is a pretty accurate description of this product. It literally just feels like silk in your fingers. It's so smooth, it's so finely milled. And I've tried it both ways. So I've tried it setting and I've tried it mixed in with my foundations. I definitely like it mixed in better, but the problem with that is that it oxidizes the foundation. So I have it mixed in with the YSL one today. It did alter the color of the foundation just a little bit. So just a heads up for that, but I do really like the product so far. And then the last thing I grabbed at Sephora was a lip balm. So I picked up the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm and this wasn't too expensive. I think it was like $18 and you get a pretty decent amount in here. It's called the Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Balm. So it smells like caramel. Smells really good and it's really hydrating. I'm really happy with this. The manager or whoever was at Sephora when they were putting this like at the checkout area and he was like, it smells delicious, it feels good, and it's zero calories. He was like, what more could you want? And I was like, okay, it's old. You can never have too many chapsticks. Like, winter's coming, you need to keep your lips hydrated, especially with those liquid lipsticks. Oh, I forgot, I got this at Sephora too for my little birthday gift. I got the Tarte blush and little mini liquid lip. So this blush is in the shade Party. So that's what that shade looks like. It's just like a mauve pink shade. And then same thing with the liquid lip. This is in the shade Birthday Suit. This texture is like a lot more moussey. I haven't used these yet, but that's the shade right here on the bottom. So that's all that I got from Sephora. That was the last thing. And then I went to Ulta because I needed a new eyebrow powder. Mine is so old and I hit some serious pan on it. I still have this old packaging. Do you guys remember how old this packaging is? It's probably like five years old. This is what it looks like on the inside. I had the shade dark brown slash brunette and I don't use this color here because it's just way too dark for me. And as you can see, I have like nothing left of the shade over here. So I needed to pick up a new one and I decided to pick up the shade caramel. I think I'm happy with it. I don't know. I wanted to get a powder because my hair is like, my hair is so dark now and my eyebrows are just black. It was hard to get them to look lighter with my lighter hair. But now that my hair is dark, they just look extremely dark. So I wanted to get a powder and something that was gonna help them look a little bit lighter so that it wasn't so harsh on my skin because I am pretty fair. So I picked up the shade caramel and I think these colors are good enough to use both sides but I have been using this side over here more so just because this one is a little more orange toned or like reddish auburn undertones so I've been using this side and I really like it I have it on today so yeah I picked up one new one of these but like look at this packaging crazy I, I think I like this packaging better but whatever and then I decided to pick up a new tinted brow gel because in my makeup routine, I always use the clear brow gel and then I'll top it off with brunette just to lighten up my brows a little bit more. And as you can see, this is getting down to the bottom and it's old and this is old also. So that's why I needed to restock on those items. I just picked up a brand new brunette brow gel to help lighten my eyebrows a little bit. And then I picked up a new Tarte Shape Tape because I honestly can't get enough of this concealer. It's just so good. I have the shade Light Neutral because mine was running out. I was going to try the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I just always go back to this one. And I do still really love the ColourPop ones. I just like to use this like around my face. And I've been using the ColourPop underneath my eyes. So 
I picked up a new one of these because I needed it. And because I was like looking at other concealers, I decided to pick up a little sample size of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer because I've heard really good things about this one and I didn't want to spend like $30 or whatever on the full size if I wasn't going to like it. So I just picked up this little one. So far, I really like it. It has really good coverage and it brightens up the under eyes really well and it looks really hydrating, which is nice because my skin tends to look on the drier side even though my skin gets oily so i really do like this so far i'm gonna give it a few more tries and i'll see how i feel about it but so far so good i really like this and then i decided to pick up a new powder i've had this powder before and i decided to pick it up again this is the mac mineralized skin finish natural in the shade light plus so this is what this looks like these powders are so deceiving because when i first went in i picked up the shade medium plus and that was like way too dark for me even though it looked like it matched in the pan as soon as i put it on my face it was like completely orange so i had to go back and pick up a different shade i picked up light plus which matches a lot better i really like this powder just to give a little bit more coverage to the skin it doesn't give too much coverage at all because it's it's the mineralized skin finish natural but it is going to give some more like luminosity and more life back to your skin if you are looking more on the matte side so that's why i like this powder it does so it gives a little bit of coverage but it just makes your skin look more like skin which is what i like i just wanted to pick that up again i really enjoyed it when i had it in the past especially using it on like lighter makeup days you can just put concealer over your face in areas that you want to conceal and then put that powder all over and it just looks really natural and it looks really good throughout the day. The last thing that I picked up for this entire thing, I know, is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Bless Spray. So I love the packaging on this. It's like sparkly and glittery. If you guys can see that, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I love it. You guys probably all know about this. It's just a water spray that has like some good ingredients in it or something. It says a soothing moisture mist that refreshes the skin and finishes makeup hold bottle 12 inches away from face and spray evenly use before or after makeup so you can use this after you've done your makeup if you find that your skin is looking really powdery and a little matte you can spray this and it'll help fuse everything together and sort of melt the product into your skin so it doesn't look so cakey or dry or powdery you can use this before you put your makeup on to hydrate your skin i like using it for that and then you can also use these to wet your eyeshadows you can use any sort of spray to wet your eyeshadows like i have the smashbox primer water that i could use the morphe setting spray you could use eye drops you could use just water but i decided to pick this up just because it's handy and i'll also use it to moisturize my skin before i get started with my makeup so that's everything that i have for this video and like i said next week i'm going to have that foundation review for you guys i'm really excited to have that foundation and this is like a little sneak preview as to what it looks like on my skin and yeah i think that's gonna be it for today again i'm so sorry that i've been mia life happens if you need to stop and take care of yourself for a minute never feel guilty for doing that always take care of yourself first always i really appreciate all your guys' support and i look forward to seeing you guys in next week's video i'm really excited about it if you like this week's video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so so you can see all of my future videos and i will see you guys in next week's video bye